this video is meant to be a joke. Please don't post negative comments or I will cry. Hi guys, welcome to my uh, Photoshop tutorial. So I'm gonna go to a photo, uh, photo P, photo P, whatever it is. Okay. So I'm gonna make a new image and set my background color to background because my background color is black and I want my image to be black because reasons. Okay, now I'm gonna go to filter, noise, add noise, and add 100% uh, noise because noise is good, I guess, and Skyrim monochromatic. And then, now I'm gonna add a bit of Gaussian blur. So now the noise is blurred. Then I'll go to image adjustments levels and change the levels a bit. Okay, now it looks good. Now I'm gonna add a new layer and then add another new layer because new layers are good. Now I'm gonna change my colors to black and white by hitting this D icon so on this top layer I'm gonna go to filter render and then clouds and now I have clouds now I'll ch change the blend mode to overlay now the clouds are gone because they are bad okay I'm gonna go to the layer below that Use a big brush, maybe size, uh, let me see, 600, and maybe let's say 50% opacity hardness in, and let's go 20% opacity. And I'm gonna paint on this new layer with different colors. Okay, now it looks okay, I guess. I'm gonna hit the D again to make my colors black and white. Now I'm gonna make a new layer and add clouds and then different clouds. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of noise. Okay, now it looks uh, weird, but too bad. So I'm gonna go to filter, filter gallery, and then base relief, and then set the lighting to top left because I want top left. Then I'll slide these circles around so it looks like rocks. Okay, I like that. Now I'm gonna use the uh, circular selection to select a circle. Then I'll go to filter, distort, spherize, I'll press OK. Now I'll press Control J to copy and paste my selection. And then I'll hide the layer below it because it looks trash. So I'll move this layer to the middle. Okay, this looks super bad. So I'm, I'll duplicate the ball. Go to image, adjustments, exposure. Make this thing super dark. Now I'm gonna add a mask. Raster mask, hide all. And I'm just gonna use uh, a big white brush. Maybe not this big. Uh, try that. And 
just make this shadow thing. Ah, it's gotta be 70% of past Okay, now that looks okay. Now I'm gonna make a new project. 720 by 720. Then make this a gradient thing from top to bottom. Okay, that looks uh, absolutely beautiful. Now I'm gonna go to filter, distort, wave, and then edit this until it looks good. Okay, that's good. Uh, now I'll go to polar coordinates and boom, I have this terrible thing. It's not bright enough, so I'll go to image adjustments levels and then make it brighter. Okay, that looks good. Now I'll drag it to the other project. And I'm gonna change the blend mode to linear dodge so it is better. Okay, perfect. Now I will go to free transform and then make this thing way smaller because it's too big. Like uh, maybe 10% height and 10% width. Okay. Now I'll go to filter, blur, radial blur, and press the zoom button, and then blur it a bit. Okay, that's good. Now I'll drag that thing to the Planet thing. Uh, we're here. Okay, this looks super unnatural, so I need to add highlights. I'll duplicate the OG planet layer, and then press image adjustments, exposure, and bump up the exposure. Now I'm gonna make a raster mask. Reveal all. And then I'm gonna use a black brush to paint on it. Okay, that looks better. Now I'm gonna have a size 20 100% hardness 25% opacity brush and then I'm gonna change my foreground color to this uh, blue color okay Good. I'll change the brush presets and maybe have a uh, say 89% spacing. Then I'll add scatter and remove position jitter because position jitter is trash. But I'll make the count one and then have 100% count jitter. Now I'll go to color dynamics and add this brightness jitter, maybe uh, 50%. Then I'll make a new layer, click on the star, hold shift, click somewhere over here. I'll change the blend mode to color dodge. Now I'll make a new layer and put it below the star layer. I'll use that color brush, but I'm gonna make it default presets.
Okay. Now, I'm just going to paint a straight line through the star. Okay, now I'll go to filter, blur, motion blur, and I'll add as much as I can. Now I'll add a bit of Gaussian blur. Okay. Now I'll go back to motion blur and add a tiny bit, like maybe 2,000. Okay. I'll change the blend mode to color dodge. Okay, it looks too tall, so I'm gonna use free transform. Okay. That's much better. Now I'll make a new layer and add a shape a circle and then put it over the star. I'll change the color. I'm gonna change his blend mode to color dodge. Okay, that looks bad, so I'll move it. Then I'll rasterize it, and then add a little Gaussian blur. I'm also gonna lower its opacity. Now I'll make another circle on another layer, and make it smaller than the OG circle. I'll add a stroke with this brighter blue color. Now I'll ch change the blend mode to color dodge. Okay, this looks trash, so I'm gonna move it. And then I'll rasterize it. And then I'll add a bit of Gaussian blur. I'll lower its opacity then I'll move it again okay now that's better so uh, this lens flare thing isn't bright enough so I'll duplicate these layers a bit Now it's time to add adjustment layers. Oh, so I'm gonna add a brightness slash contrast adjustment layer and have a lot of contrast because it is good. I'll lower the brightness a bit and have more contrast. Uh, now I'll add a color adjustment uh, or color balance adjustment layer and slide the things till it looks better okay now I'll add a vignette effect by going to the effects and adding inner glow I need to change the color to black but now I can't see it, so I'll change the blend mode to multiply. Now I'm gonna make the size huge. Then I'm gonna make the opacity less. Okay. Now the image looks uh, sort of cool, I guess. 
Uh, I think it needs more adjustment layers, so I'm going to add this uh, invert adjustment layer, and now it's great. Okay, I'll delete it. Alright, I'm done I guess. Thanks for watching guys. If you like my uh, Photoshop tutorial, be sure to share it and add a comment and all. Uh, I don't know. Okay, bye.